Well, good Saturday evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I'm going to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Uh, great weekend. We're about three and a half hours away from kickoff for the Cowboys versus the Raiders. I'll be live streaming and stuff. I've been out working all day. Got myself a nice cool shower to cool down after being on that roof and things and feel I feel tired to be honest with you. I feel sleepy. Maybe I'll take a little nap before the game. But be that as it may here's something that's kind of interesting is Michael Lombardi has gone on the fan yesterday and he was talking about Dak Prescott and stuff and that there's not going to be a market that the Cowboys don't need to be in a hurry to pay Dak because literally nobody will want him. Let's listen to this for a little bit here. All in with these Dallas Cowboys. What do you make of all the contract drama? Well, I think this, I think, you know, when you go back and really watch that game uh, against the Packers and you own a team, and you see how disappointing the effort was, the fundamentals were. Everything about that game was bad. I mean, look, Jerry's had a hard time getting to a Super Bowl, hasn't been to a conference championship game since 95. You know, here he has home field advantage, playing against a Packer team that was, you know, struggled to beat Carolina 33-30, to lost to Tommy DeVito in the Meadowlands. You know, I mean, they were getting better, but let, let's not put them out to be the, the 85 Bears here now. So... I think when you watch that game and you see how poorly Dak played, you see how poorly uh, all the players in the team played, the high pad level, nobody getting off blocks, Green Bay kind of doing what they wanted to do. I, I think you can't turn around and say, oh, I'm really happy. Let me give everybody big checks. Yeah, I don't think you can do that. Whoa, 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 Mike, <laughs> well, you're telling me you still don't think the day after, a week after, that you need to sign up C.D. Lamb and, and Micah Parsons down the road? C.D. Lamb. They're going to sign C.D. Lamb. They're going to sign Parsons down the road, and I'm sure they're going to do something with Dak. But I don't think they have to run to the window to do it. Look, here's the thing you all miss on this Dak thing, right? Where's Dak going? Where's he going? Anywhere, he, anywhere has, he wants. Anywhere he wants. Okay, but you realize there's other quarterbacks somewhere? He's not taking somebody's job. You think he's going to go to Miami and take to his job? No. You think he's going to go to Jacksonville and take Lawrence's job? That's anywhere you want. Right? You're, you're telling does, does me, he, you're telling me next off season, Dak Prescott won't be able to pick between three to five teams where he wants to go and I, get paid sixty million plus. I think he'll have every option if the Raiders lead a quarterback. I think he'll certainly have an option there. I think he'll have options at another team. But let me ask you this question: Why would he leave Dallas? Jerry would match the deal. Jerry's not afraid of free agency. What does Jerry care about? You're going to leave being the head of the Dow. Oh, he's going to go to New Orleans next year. Oh, he's going to go to New Orleans next year. He'll go right there. They're $90 million over the cap already for next year. They are every okay? year. He ain't going to New every Orleans. Every year, but they still sign he's people, though. $60 million a year. Mm -hmm. So you can forget about that. You know, he's not going to Atlanta. Maybe a Super Bowl winning GM, Terry Fontenot, will sign another quarterback, <laughs> but he ain't going there. Like, where's he going to go? Okay, he's not going to Washington. You know, could he go to the New York football Giants? Yeah. But the Giants have to pay a 12% increase just because of the state taxes in the in the Garden State where I live. So, like, let... All right. So, he's saying that basically, mm, you know what? Don't pay the guy because, you know, the t teams wouldn't go through and need a quarterback. And, of course, you know, he brought up the Giants. And I remember last year, Greg Jones basically reliable, saying... Affordable package shipping. Daniel Jones... And the this Giants was last year, a year ago. One Dak versus Danny Dimes, fresh off a new contract. Jones was asked the classic elite question by Art Stapleton of NorthJersey.com. Here's what he said. I'm very confident in myself. I'm very confident that I can play this game at a high level and lead this team to win a lot of games. <clears throat> and some people are speculating the only person more confident in Daniel Jones is our own Greg Jennings. Greg? Do you believe that Daniel Jones is a top 10 quarterback? Of course, no need to speculate. You're gonna hear me say it again. <laughs> of course. And again, of course, he is a top 10 quarterback. In the NFC? In the NFL. <laughs> We're talking about the Sorry, National Greg. Football you, you, League. The whole you, you're my league, boy. entire league, Damn. Daniel Jones, top 10 quarterback. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why. It's please. please do. Because we, we were, were looking six retirements. At, we're looking, morning. no, there were not six <laughs> retirements. <laughs> we're, there, there were not six retirements. 
When you look at the when you look at the New York Giants, the one thing that Daniel Jones does not have that every other quarterback that you probably can name on any list mm -hmm. has is a premier receiving weapon, whether okay. that's at tight end or quarterback. Sure. With yeah. the sure go. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there, but I will say that you know. They paid him $40 million last year, which is the same amount that Dak Prescott currently had on his, his, his contract. And I will say that Kirk Cousins was just signed in Atlanta for like 45, 46. I can't remember what the number is. But take a look here at Daniel Jones. Look, look at he, look, looky here. I know he saw Petrie on the spot, but throw it at Johnson's feet. There's no reason for that to have happened for the New York Giants, none whatsoever. That's an experienced quarterback. That is not a rookie, that's not a second year guy, that's not Tommy DeVito. That's Daniel Jones who's been in this league since 2019, should know better than throwing that football. But I'll take it, thank you, and Jalen Petrie make his plays alone. Let, let's look at that one more time. Daniel Jones, right there, he's gotta get rid of the football. I know he saw Petrie on the spot. Yeah, that, that's definitely game. because he didn't There's have no playmaking wide receivers. For the New York Giants, none whatsoever. That's an experienced quarterback. That is not a rookie. That's not a second-year guy. That's not Tommy DeVito. Yeah. So, yeah, I, granted, Trevor Lawrence and Tua both got paid, so they're not going to be open situations, not unless they decide to retire. I get that. But they redid Matthew Stafford's contract, so that way he could retire conceivably next year. That's a possibility. Um, New Orleans, you know, he brings up the New Orleans is $80 million over the cap. I believe they were $75 million over the cap when they ended up getting uh, Derek Carr. And every year, New Orleans is like $70, $80 million. They're always in the worst shape, but it's never precluded them from signing free agents. Now, the uh, New York Giants, yeah, they would kill to have Dak Prescott there. And there's other teams that would as well. And, and this is, it's always funny that, oh, there's no market there. I think somebody did at the beginning of the year that there were maybe only two teams out there that would take the, uh, Dak Prescott over the guy they had. Sorry, that's some bull jiggity. Dak Prescott, here's what I'm going to say about the situation is. Um, we've been told that Dak Prescott can get $60 million, um, as a free agent. If Dak Prescott settles for anything under $60 million, you actually have to say, okay, he's actually being more of a team player. As opposed to saying, no, I want $5 million more than Trevor Lawrence. Anything under 60 is actually a bargain. And you don't want to go out there because we've done this before. You know, We've done this with Amari Cooper. He went to Washington to go ahead and get a contract offer there, and they came slightly up below it. And he looked at it and said, I'd rather have Dak Prescott throwing to me than a bunch of bums. And he stayed here with the Cowboys. We saw Randy Gregory get a high offer from Denver, in which case the Cowboys were like, nah, bro, you know, El Paso on that. You don't know what a team that is desperate for a quarterback will look and say, this guy's had 37 TDs, even with the coming missing four games with a broken thumb, still had 23, mind you, which is 23 TD passes the most that Jalen Hurts has ever had in a career, and then follows it up the next year with 36 TDs and nine interceptions. And you getting a guy like that, they're few and far between and you would definitely sell a hell of a lot of tickets if you are say the new york giants and you've been seeing daniel jones danny dimes or danny dollar store like this for years yeah that would be a smart investment for other teams but what do i know i'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll that will be here live streaming from 9 45 till about one o'clock peace